let us focus on the try data structure today now if this question is asked in the interview so it would be like first of all you are creating a class for try node and there will be a default constructor function in this there will be other class so this is where we write our code and this will have a constructor function as well which is in it and then this is basically self now our aim is to uh, basically insert a particular word into the into our try data structure or we will be searching a word so we define a function in order to search a particular word and then we have starts with function that we are going to search for a particular prefix and finally we are going to delete a particular word from this particular try data structure now let us uh, start with the try node here we are focusing on the try node and each of the characters will be a, a, a node of this particular uh, try so here we are uh, fundamentally uh, emphasizing on the children and also is and pointer will be used so we will write self dot children so this will be an empty set and then there will be is and which we have the default as false now uh, we are going to assign self dot root is equal to this particular try node uh, which is another class so we are defining over here now in order to insert uh, what uh, we need to do is we need to have an uh, iterator and further we write node equal to self dot root and this will be a particular iterator and for every character in the word we are going to uh, run this particular iterator actually uh, so uh, for every character in this word we will be checking if character is not in self dot or uh, it is like node dot children uh, then we need to basically insert into this particular children so node dot children of that particular character uh, character it becomes a try node and it will be continuing so uh, this happens and we are going to iterate uh, this so that would be node dot children of a care so this is the iterator now the insert function will not be returning any of uh, any return value we will just be writing self dot is end is equals to true after ending so this will uh, basically define the end point of the iterator right and uh, now during the search we will be uh, having the same iterator which will be uh, node equal to self dot uh, root and for every character in the word we are going to check if character not in self dot children if it is not in self dot children we are going to return a value of false now if the, there is this particular uh, uh, word uh, or a character is present then we are going to iterate node dot children on that particular character now finally once uh, the search uh, has been uh, obtained now we are going to return what is the end point of this node now if the end point is uh, true uh, that means we have reached to the end and we have also been successfully able to find the whole of the word now if uh, the node dot is end is equals to false so it will be returned as false now what does it mean when node dot is and is equal to false that is an important case uh, it means that we have completely finished uh, the word like all the characters are completed and we have not reached the end that means uh, this becomes a start with case not a search case we uh, we are searching that means the whole word uh, is the whole node
let's focus on the st start with so this is node equal to self dot root again and uh, for character in node uh, for character in each word if character not in uh, node dot children we are going to return the value of false otherwise we are going to run node dot children so this is an iterator uh, once this iterator is uh, done we are finally returning that uh, it basically starts with true now here the only difference in between this and this is that we are returning node dot is and if it is equal to true that means the whole word and the uh, nodes are the same so that means it is returning true otherwise it returns false because it is a starts with case now in the delete uh, we are going to define a recursive function uh, which will be uh, taking a uh, node word and i as the arguments now uh, uh, these uh, this function will be uh, initiated uh, with self dot self dot root and word comma zero now once this is done uh, whenever we are calling this uh, in the next time we will be calling it as node dot children of word of a particular particular character so the whole word will be passed and this is i plus one so this is like kind of uh, iterator do you understand this okay so this basically defines as if we need to delete a particular element or not now if this particular uh, need a delete if we require this delete then what are we going to do is node dot children dot pop of word of i we are going to do that and finally we are going to return if length of node dot children is equals to is equal to zero so that means if the node uh, children has a length of a zero that means we have reached the end of that that means we have completely deleted so we are going to return it as uh, true now if uh, the recursive uh, element fails we are going to return false that means the deletion has uh, not been possible now there is a boundary case if i becomes equal to the length of word that means the word end has been reached but the node end has not been reached so that means if node dot is end is not so that means the node of is end is not uh, reached so that means we will be returning uh, the false now when uh, it has uh, it has been uh, reached then node dot is and is equal to true that is we are going to delete the word to changing is and uh, being false and we will be returning length of node dot children is equal to is equal to zero so this is the way now in any of the case uh, which is uh, if word of i not in not in node dot children so we are going to return false so this is basically the program this is uh, for the try data structure where the children and the is and is uh, very uh, important so now let me check if there are any mistakes in this program now this is so this is the boundary case now we are going to uh, delete this by initiating it to node dot is and equal to false so this was the uh, this was the only mistake uh, and finally so this is the program uh, for 